next we can talk about global state, which is a variable that exists for the entire lifetime of the program. Our program is going to change this variable as it runs. We're going to take this concept, we're going to implement a counter. Every time the user clicks the submit button, uh, this counter is going to go up by one. So first I'm going to create this variable. It's going to go right at the top of the program. Next, I'm going to manipulate the variable. So I said that this counter is going to go up by one every time the user clicks the submit button. So when the user clicks the submit button, that's the main function running. So on the first line of the main function, I'm going to manipulate the value of the counter. Uh, I'm going to increment it by one. And then I'm going to output the current value in the message. Let's see this in the browser. Now when I click the button, then I should see the counter message and it should increment by one every time I click the button. Let's go to the code and explain more about how this global variable works. The main mechanic is the fact that every time the user clicks the submit button, the entire main function runs. So that's this whole thing here. And what we've done is we've defined this variable and it's not inside the main function, it's on line one. And when the main function runs, it manipulates this value on line five. It adds one to the value of banana counter. And so the value is created outside the function, but it's being manipulated inside the function or it's being manipulated every time the user clicks the submit button. So then all of this code between the curly braces is running. Now let's see an opposite example which is the fact that any variable that's declared inside the function is not available outside the function. A variable that's declared inside the function is only available when that function runs and when it finishes running, that variable ceases to exist. So when I click the submit button, I am incrementing the value of banana counter. And if I go into the console, I can type in banana counter and I can see the value of this variable. If I try to get to the value of a variable that's inside the function, I won't be able to. So my output value here is being created inside the main function. And if I try to look at that, the value of that variable, then it will, JavaScript will act as if it doesn't even exist. And that's because it only exists for the lifetime of this function. So I hit the submit button, the entire function runs. It happens very, very quickly. And then the, this variable no longer exists after that. Let's prove one more thing about the behavior of our global value, which is that when the life cycle of my program ends, then the values inside of the variables also go away. So if I click here, then I'm incrementing the value of banana count and I can get a hold of that value by typing it in the console. And as soon as I hit the refresh button, then the value of banana counter has been reset to its original value. In this small program, we were able to see some of the behaviors of global values that they get created at the beginning of the life cycle of the page, that we can manipulate them as the program runs, and that they get reset at the end. And we also saw the behavior of non-global values 
which is if you create a value, a variable inside of a function, it's only available inside that function. And if we try to access it outside that function, uh, then it doesn't appear to exist.